Hi, welcome to my first ever video. This is really scary, but I wanted to start a YouTube channel, so here we are. Um, today we're on Avalor, my little sister's island. She had asked me to redo her campsite, so that's what we're doing today. I'm going to show you what she had first. She said she was kind of tired of it, so that's why she had asked me to redo it. Um, I wanted to show it off first because I think it's really cute and I really love it. So in case, you know, you kind of like her before. Um, yeah. So first I'm just starting off, I'm doing out my pockets, kind of clearing out the area, you know, making sure everything's good to go. Starting off with a clean, fresh slate, if you will. I'm kind of going around, picking stuff up, clearing the path, that type of thing. I had no idea what I wanted to do for this build or this area at all. So I'm just kind of winging it as I go. So hopefully it turns out good. Hopefully you think it came out well. Um, let me know, I guess. If not, please don't, it'll hurt my feelings. So here I'm just opening the Island Designer app, getting to work. So I basically decided that I'm going to go ahead and keep the lake because lakes remind me of camping. I was just going to build a waterfall leading into the lake. I've never been camping, so my only camping experience is Parent Trap. Being that my only camping experience is from the Parent Trap, I thought it was essential to keep the lake because it reminds me of that scene where um, the possible stepmom gets pushed, like she's floating in the lake on her little like, mattress. So yeah. <laughs> Um, so I'm just building that up right here. There's chai. Um, I didn't know exactly what shape I was going for, so um, whatever I build is just trial and error basically because I don't plan anything out. So I was thinking about closing this area off and like connecting it to the other cliffs that were on the other side. So you see them right there. But I decided against that and thought it would just be kind of like a, a little more closed off of an entrance. So that's kind of what we went for. And I think here is where I'm like, okay, this is good. Just kidding. Oh, there's a balloon. Oh, I got the balloon. Okay. And I'm not very good at waterscaping, so please don't like judge me. I think we're all a little bad at waterscaping. Just kidding, that was a lie. That was a generalization and I shouldn't be. And then I'm just gonna go in, get rid of the Statue of Liberty, because fuck America. Just kidding. I'm not kidding. She's a mess. And then I was putting down these wooden paths, um, kind of building like a little, uh, what's the word called? OMG, what is it? A pier. I was building a little pier. So originally I had recorded a voiceover along with the gameplay like at the same time, like the commentary at the same time. Here I was trying to explain like how the path, like you put down the path and I was like, oh like I like the little path, like putting down my path in little chunks like this rather than like the big path like my sister has in the back. You do what, whatever you like but I just prefer like the smaller chunks. So basically when you put down the path, you put down the one that's underneath you first and the one in front of you and then to the right of your character, so like the top right, and then the next part would be top left. Top left, what? Yeah, your character's top left. Um, and then it'll be your character's right, your character's left, and then behind your character, your character's right again, like back right, back left. Pretty simple. You just have to remember that order because sometimes I forget it as well. Whenever I do my little chunks of path, I like to do little sections in between because I think that little stepping stone is kind of cute. 
So here I'm just putting down more path. And Chai is fishing. Go off, Chai. Women love me, fish fear me. And I'm running in circles because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, waiting for inspiration to strike. And it did, so I ran over here to the pile of junk. Not pile of junk, pile of stuff. Sorry. And here I was looking for another kid stat and I thought it was freaking dumb. I was like, am I dumb? Am I dumb? I'm dumb. I could not find another kid stat. I swear she had two out there. Maybe I was hallucinating, I don't know. But I eventually, I gave up looking through here and I went to her house and checked her storage and I grabbed some, some stuff there. First I came up here and I kind of started putting some stuff down to see what we had going on. And I went to her house, checked her storage, and looked for kids' tents and like other little knickknacks that would look good in the area. So here she is, looking around. I think after this, I went over to my island. Um, so here is. Oh, just kidding. That was a fucking lie. Whenever I decorate places, I think what makes it look like I know what I'm doing is the fact that I just put a bunch of little custom codes in the ground and it just like, it just adds stuff. It just be doing the thing. It just, it is it. It's what's missing. You know, if you just put custom designs on the ground, then you like, you're golden. You're good to go. That's all you really need in life. Custom designs on the floor. That didn't sound like word. I'm sorry. I'm gonna learn to speak eventually, I hope. I hope. So here I was trying to place this lantern and I really liked how it looked in front of the yellow tent but I didn't want to have too much yellow there so then I like tried flipping the tents around to see if that would look better and it didn't look better and later on I go to my own island to uh, whoops I go to my own island to give my sister some stuff that we could do in the build and I gave her a blue lantern and I get back to the island and I don't know where it is. Like, it's not in my pockets and I was like, what the heck is this? If you're just looking for some sticks to build that- wait. Oh, I was gonna do clotheslines. So I went to go grab some sticks to build some clotheslines. And we're just looking around again. We're forgetful. Oh, here's my flyover. <laughs> it's kind of ugly. I really hate my island, but we're working on it. <laughs> like, oh, here's me talking to Leaf. Leaf is a bad bitty, and we love Leaf. We stay on Leaf in this house. Leaf is my favorite, and he's sweet. And he's never on my island, and it makes me so sad because I think he's like the cutest, and I just love talking to him. There's me. So I'm gonna go grab her some bushes because uh, she had a bunch of holly bushes out there but I just my favorite bushes are the red hibiscus bushes so that's where I went to go get and um, he's selling them right now so yeah so that was a little sneak peek in my island hopefully you don't hate it because I will be making most of my videos on there so <laughs> yeah and here's me going back up here 
putting down some custom codes because that is how you know when you know what you're doing. You just gotta pretend. I'm like coming over a cold right now, so I'm like mucus on deck. That was gross. I should tell you that. We don't know each other like that yet. And here I am confused AF because I'm like, where is the other lantern? My sister's island theme has like cottage core woodsy type thing, so I don't know if I said this earlier, but I surrounded like sort of the edge a little bit with some trees to kind of make it foresty. I think I add more trees later, hopefully, because it looks bare AF. I don't know what to talk about. What do you guys want to hear about? Wait. <laughs> uh, you guys can't respond. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Oh, I do want to ask. So, this build, I started it during the day, obviously, and now it's like getting darker. Do you care if people build during day or do you, or like, what? Can I get one coherent thought out? No. Do you prefer speed builds or just builds during the day or do not care? Because I only ever see speed builds done during the day. I think this one's kind of a vibe at night, like the lightning bugs look cute, but I don't know. What do you think? I saw- who was it? No, I'm angry coconut. I really like his videos. But like, I saw one of his videos and his video was like a speed build at like 4 in the morning and I loved it. It was like good lighting, it was just vibes, all around vibes, vibes, vibes. English is not my first language. It was my second language. It's the language I mainly speak though, so maybe that's not an excuse. So here I'm just looking for the creator that made the, the dirt path that I'm using. They have more options for the middle square so I wanted to add another middle square option to make it look more interesting, visually interesting. Their Twitter is Toby Morieco and the code was just on the screen. But a good place that I like to find codes is actually Console Kato's card. She does a really good job at linking um, her codes and crediting creators, which I think is really important. These are not easy to make, so, and they make a lot. They had a lot of options and I love having like the various options, especially for this very big chunk of like dirt that I'm making right here. It like just gives it more, it's just more interesting to look at. Animal Crossing is an art form, okay?
So here I'm just grabbing a couple, grabbing what the fuck? I'm grabbing a couple of futons to place down. It's kind of like a sleepover area type thing. Imagine, oh, that's so cute. Like, imagine sleeping under the stars with your friends. Actually, I'm kind of terrified of the forest. I like am all over the place when I build. I'm so sorry. I like go do some stuff in one area and then I go do some stuff in the other area and then I go back and add more things. I'm a mess when I when I do builds and I hate that I'm like that because then like the video is like not in order. And even if I like had edited certain areas where they're in order, like like oh I finished this section, let me move on to the next section. Like I edited those clips together. It would make no sense because then you'd see a bunch of stuff in the background and you'd be like, what's going on? When I was placing down that campfire just now, I was so worried because I'm like, oh my god, wait, like, is this too close? Like, is this gonna set those people on fire while they're asleep? But then I'm like, girl, it's fake. Just, just do it. Honestly, running around to like figure out what the heck I want to do. I think I decided that I was gonna do the fishing area next, so I'm just picking up some fishing stuff. Um, so that's me getting fishing stuff. I grabbed the stall originally because I was like, oh, what if I do like a little area where they sell stuff, like a little concession stand? But I don't think they have concessions in the woods, so I'm gonna do that. And plus, I don't know how to do that well, like a good concession area. Um, I tried to do like a little mini market on my island, so my island is like fairy tale themed. So I was like, oh, a little like market area would be kind of cute, maybe. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Like, I don't know. And I'm like really tired of my island, so I really want to do a new theme and like just tear everything down. I don't know if I'm between tearing everything down and resetting, but like I am too lazy to go and like get the same stuff again. So I maybe will not reset. I'll probably just flatten. I've only been fishing a handful of times in my life and I was like six. So, um, I think this is like after this. There's water and fishing poles. Over here, I'm just clearing the area because I was gonna do a little like, um, like a barbecue area, I guess. And then I realized that none of the little middle parts that my sister has for the blanket match. They don't like exactly match and I'm a bit like picky. So it's kind of bothering me, but I just kind of, we just did the best we could because I didn't want to download like, I only downloaded I think one custom code and it was just that dirt square. Cause I didn't know if she would get mad at me if I like added a bunch of stuff, but I think it turns out kind of cute. But personally, I'm a bit pickier, so I would have that online. It's my opinion. It's my opinion. Yeah. And I added a bonfire right there and I just placed it there and then walked away. I think. No, just kidding. I placed a couple custom codes and then I walked away. Yep, there I go, walking away. Like I said, I literally just run around and do absolute nonsense while I build. Oh, I was saying earlier about like building at night. I think this build kind of like, it's just really good at night because of the lightning bugs. So I think it's kind of cute at night. 
maybe my other builds will be in the daytime, but like I, I really like how it's at night because I think it kind of adds to the vibe. Right over here, I wanted to do kind of like a grassy field, I guess. And I came in here to get some money so I can buy a shovel because I'm lazy and I don't craft my tools, I just buy them. Yeah, my sister's a billionaire, so that's kind of dope. So she won't notice. It's fine. I was struggling with that fridge there because it's the only freezer she had like out um, other than the one I used by the fishing area but like imagine like going camping and lugging that big ass freezer out into the woods I think I would just not go camping again never been camping Oh, and then I was looking for those foldable tables. I know they're not like aesthetic, so um, you probably don't use them often on your island. But I thought it fit the vibe that we were going for. Not the vibe that we were going for, the vibe that my sister wants is a cottage for in cutesy. But I kind of went barbecue dad mode with these, and I don't hate it. Some carne asada. And then over here, I wanted to do like a bike area, so I'm just placing down some brick padding and then placing um, a weed and then a bike. And then a bike, okay. And then another bike. And then I realized that the other bike was green, so I realized that I wanted to move them because I wanted the yellow bike to be in the front because I like the yellow bike more. And I like how I flip them, um, I think it just makes it look more interesting. And then I put that fence in the front to kind of look at, like, to tidy it up to the fence, almost, I don't know. Made a little stepping stone. Did you see those flowers together, the, like the yellow, orange, and white? That was really cute. Mental note, use yellow, orange, and white flowers. Um, so yeah, just kind of fish, fi fishing, what? No, we're not fishing. Finishing touches, and uh, what am I looking for? Oh, okay, so I was looking for a well. I wanted to add a well at the entrance-ish part of the campsite. I'm obsessed with wells. That's like one thing about me is I love wells. I have them all over my island. I don't know why. I just think they're very interesting and underappreciated. So um, yeah, I use more wells. There's also a well in front of her nook's cranny. I put that there. Yep, yep, yep.
Thank you so much for watching my first video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Um, thank you so much. Bye.